Wendell Barnhouse, Big 12 Digital Network here at the coaches' meetings in Phoenix, and we're talking with the new Kansas State basketball coach, Jeff Mitty, formerly of TCU. Uh, Jeff, just kind of walk us through the whole process with uh, deciding to make the move from TCU to K-State. Well, tough decision. You know, I obviously love Fort Worth and, and spent 15 years at TCU, love TCU, so that it was a tough decision. A lot of things. I, I liked uh, the vision of Kansas State women's basketball. It is back home for Shanna and I, and that did play a factor. There just aren't many of those situations that you feel like can be such a great fit for you. But um, definitely a hard decision. And uh, um, But it's one that I think that I uh, feel good about now and uh, felt good about it when it was going through the process. But uh, uh, any of those moves are always hard. Tell us a little bit more about the background of you and your wife being from that area and the, the pull to maybe kind of get back get back home yeah you know um you know in coaching there just aren't many th that many opportunities especially at a place that you you feel strongly about and you've watched a tradition of women's basketball at kansas state but um yeah shanna grew up uh, 20 minutes from there junction city chapman high school um i grew up in kansas city about two hours away started my coaching career went to school in st joe missouri which is about 45 minutes north of of kansas city so um all of us have uh, my entire family is pretty much in Kansas City and her entire family is either uh, within 15 to 45 minutes of Manhattan so um, there's definitely a family draw there. Well you're changing jobs but you're still in the same conference does that make the transition a little bit easier? <laughs> well, I wouldn't ever say easier in this league. Uh, I would never say, but having been through conference changes before, the the scouting report stuff, the familiarity with coaches, and all those things are at least you have that familiarity. But you also, uh, uh, you know, we know how tough this league is, so it is a challenge no matter where you sit. You mentioned how strong K State women's basketball has been in the past. What's your goals and vision as far as what you want to try to do to take it uh, a few steps further? Well, it was, a, it was certainly, a, uh, it was the youngest team in the league last year. Uh, we went through that process the year before at TCU. Um, but now we go through it where system-wise we're implementing the system. The rules help in that, you know, now we can work with them in the summer. So th there are some rule changes uh, that, that will help in that process. But uh, I like our group. They've been working hard. I think we've got some of the, the uh, good young talent in the league. We just got to grow them up as quick as they can. Are you still going to try to recruit a lot out of Texas and use those ties that you built up at TCU and maybe try to get uh, players up to Kansas State from Texas? I'd love to have any of the top players <laughs> from any state, but Texas will certainly be a part of that. Yeah, you know, I think that's a part of it. It's certainly part of every Big 12 school, but I mean the fact that I've been in the Metroplex for 15 years and uh, certainly know the top talent there. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that the Midwest, um, you know, when you're at Kansas State, you've got to build with uh, some Kansas kids. Kansas City's got to be a huge uh, part of that, but the Midwest in general, but uh, certainly Texas will be a big part of it. Thanks. That's Coach Jeff Mitty now at Kansas State. Reporting from the Big 12 Coaches Meetings in Phoenix, I'm Wendell Barnhouse for the Big 12 Digital Network.